I went ahead and took myself a one week break from uploading videos and stuff because it was my birthday a couple days ago as you can see all those little balloons up there and it was also Chinese New Year so just took some time off and uh, I was planning on putting a video out but it didn't really go as planned it dude it's behind the lap the lap is like I can't see anything oh, I can't see the freaking laps in the way oh he's coming back dude that laps tails in the way doesn't know what to do Oh, why is this lap always blocking the view, bro? Somebody, bro, pay your money for these night crawlers. Oh, what are you doing? Swimming? Oh my god, just swimming. Just swimming. And honestly, I'm not even that mad because if I did have good feedings every single time, I'll have a million videos on YouTube. But we're back, and the topic for today isn't my Bashirs, it's actually these guys in this tank right here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to add calcium into your aquarium easily with one household product that you most likely have in your fridge. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now, I get paid, fake game, stay in peace, I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right, you could be my peace sign. <laughs> So let me go ahead and give you guys a breakdown of how I discovered that my snails needed my help with adding calcium into the aquarium to help them rebuild their shells. So last week I was supposed to release a video called like a live night crawler feeding and all that stuff with my Bashirs. But as you can tell from the video not being posted, it didn't really go as planned. Also in that video, I was going to give you guys an update on this tank with the plants and stuff and tell you guys about how much algae grew in this aquarium. So the plan was to go back to the house, raid the sump for as many cherry shrimp as I can find and then put it into this aquarium to help kill off all the algae and stuff reduce the amounts of light that was in here and then it was during this time that i noticed that my two snails in here were having shell problems as you can see from this footage right here the shell it looks like it's starting to like wear down and stuff there's signs of damage uh, it's not looking good it's looking a little bit discolored i did what any other fish keeper would do is look up online and see how to fix this kind of stuff and i saw a couple of posts about people saying like the snail might be deficient with like calcium or something you might need to add liquid calcium into your tank to help your snail rebuild its shell and stuff, help it heal. And then I did what a DIY person would do, try to find a cheap way for me to add calcium into the aquarium without buying like store-bought calcium and all that stuff. And then I found out that you can add calcium into your tank with eggshells. And the reason why this is important is because, I mean, I didn't know that you can add eggshells into your tank and uh, it'll boost with like calcium and stuff. I thought you had to literally buy liquid calcium add it into the tank and stuff, buy like sea chem stuff. I literally had it at the house, so that's the reason why I wanted to cover this topic today. Now this might not benefit my Bashir guys that follow this channel, but if you have any like snails and stuff, shrimp and stuff that help you clean up your tank like how I do, adding in some eggshells might benefit your guys because if my snails had the correct amount of calcium or even a good amount of calcium in the tank and the water and stuff, um, they wouldn't look like this and I don't know if this hurts them, but I'd rather just see them healthy and stuff So that's why this video is important because you literally have Calcium supplements in your fridge. All right So when it comes to adding in the eggshells into your aquarium uh, All you really have to do is wash off all like the yolk and like the egg whites and stuff You can leave the membrane in there It's actually extra protein for your shrimps and all that stuff and they'll most likely eat it all but for me, I just took out all the membrane. I left it out to dry. The reason why I left it out to dry is because it was a lot easier for me to like pulverize in the stuff and make it into a powder. And I'll go and explain that portion later on in the video. Now, after you've done this, the eggshell gets pretty brittle and uh, you can break it easily. So you might want to watch out. And as you can see from this clip right here, I literally just put the dried eggshell into the aquarium and let it sink to the bottom of the tank. After that, that's pretty much it. It immediately drew the attention of my snail they went ahead and started climbing all over it and stuff like flipping it over and uh, I don't know what they were doing with it I think they're just kind of playing with it I'm not too sure if they can actually eat that because it's such a big piece I think what's happening is it's in the aquarium and it's slowly breaking down releasing calcium and stuff into the water column and uh, I think that's how they absorb it it might look kind of ugly but the best part about this is you can visually see the eggshell and you can remove it if necessary. Now, even though it may be ugly, you can slip it behind rocks and stuff uh, out of sight. Like for me, I have a little pocket in the back of the aquarium. You can literally slip it under there and from the front view, you can't even see it. But if the, I don't know, shrimp or snails need to eat it or whatever or graze off of it, they can go back there and get as much calcium as they want. Again, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's like the snails and shrimp absorbing it through the water column 
or if they're like literally picking pieces of the eggshell off and eating it. If you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below because I would like to know and I'm sure everyone that's listening and watching this video would want to know as well. The second way to do it was to literally pulverize the shell and then uh, drop it into the tank. The main reason why I didn't like this is because I was afraid of, I don't know, overdosing calcium if that's even possible. You're kind of DIYing it so there's not really like a like a measurement and stuff when it comes to eggshells you're just gonna put some into your tank and hope that's the correct amount and that's pretty much it but the reason why i ended up doing this the first time is because i kind of took into consideration that i'll just go ahead and put some eggshells into the tank and then uh, add it in during like uh, water changes and stuff so when i do water change it's gonna remove some of it and then i'll go ahead and put some new fresh eggshell powder into the aquarium and then on top of that, I'll go ahead and stop dosing when I notice that the snail shells have fully healed and stuff. It doesn't look like they need any extra calcium. The next reason why I thought this was a good idea is because when it's like a powdered form or crushed up form, it's a lot easier for like the snails and shrimp and stuff to eat it. If they do need it to eat it, let it go into your tank. It's just gonna snow down into your aquarium. And that's pretty much how it just gets distributed. The fish were trying to eat it too. I'm not too sure if that's good for them because I don't know if they can break down eggshells, but they it's been a while now and they, they seem to be doing fine. But again, with all DIY projects and stuff, make sure you do your research, make sure that you're not just throwing a bunch of eggshells in there. It's just gonna mess up all kinds of stuff. If you throw too much eggshells in there, I'm not too sure if they'll alter different things like pH and stuff. So make sure when you do these DIY projects, do them in a careful amount, do your research and uh, just do what, what you're comfortable with. I mean, don't throw like a dozen eggshells in there, it's gonna be all bad. A lot of people do this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos on it too. I just so happen to never see it because I never looked into it, but people say it does work. So it's a pretty affordable way for you to add calcium into your aquarium without breaking the bank. Even though that calcium supplement might not be too expensive, I didn't really, let me, let me see how much it costs. So I'm looking at liquid calcium and it's mostly for like reefs and stuff. Seachem makes one for 10 bucks. API makes one for 10 bucks. Kent makes one for 17 bucks. It gets pretty expensive when you get like the bigger balls and stuff. Fritz has one, but most of them are reef and stuff. Like I said, you're saving some money on it, so go ahead and give it a shot. And plus, you most likely have eggshells in your fridge anyways, or maybe even your trash from eating and stuff. So yeah, give it a shot and uh, help your snails improve their shells. I probably said shells a million times in this video, but that's what this video is about. Eggshells, snail shells, shrimp shells, just shells, man. We're just, we're just shelling today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was supposed to be a live night crawler feeding video and stuff, but obviously things didn't go as planned and that's the reason why that video never came out. But again, I wanted to put out some useful information just in case you guys have snails and shrimp and stuff and you're wondering why their shells are being wrecked and all that. Go ahead and add some calcium, man. Go on and do that, man. It's free, man. It's not free, but it's it's cheap. It's affordable, man. Go eat some breakfast, man. You go on and do that, man. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace, guys.